This video will show you how to register a patron in Sitka's Evergreen if your library participates in BC OneCard. Before registering a new patron, you must check to see whether or not the patron already has an account at your library or at another BC Public Library. If the patron lives in your home library area, you should search for the patron by name. Go to Search, Search for Patrons. Enter the patron's information and click Search. If the patron lives elsewhere in BC, they must present their current home library card to be scanned by staff. Staff should scan the patron's library card even if they're from a non-Sitka library as they may have already registered their card at another Sitka library. If the patron is from another Sitka library or has already registered at a Sitka library, library staff will opt the patron into their library rather than registering them. See our video, Opting Patrons Into Your Library. In general, BC Public Libraries participating in the Provincial BC OneCard program should not create accounts for patrons from other Sitka BC Public Libraries. If a patron does not have an account with their home library, they need to register with their home library before they can participate in BC OneCard. If the patron does not have an existing account in the Sitka database and they are eligible for an account at your library, they can be registered as a new patron. To register a new patron in Evergreen, go to Circulation, Register Patron. This will open the patron registration screen. Depending on your library's settings, either Suggested Fields or All Fields will display by default. You can select a different option and the screen will update to display the applicable fields. The information collected at registration and stored in the patron account will vary from library to library. It is important to know what your library's policies are for creating patron accounts. Fields that are required display in yellow. Fields such as barcode, first name and last name are required by Evergreen. Fields such as date of birth, address and daytime phone can be set as required by your local system administrator through the library settings editor. Fill in the required fields as well as any other fields that should be filled in as per your library's policies. By default, hold notices are sent by email. If you are not entering an email for the patron account, you must uncheck the box for hold notices email. This will stop the email field from being required unless it's been set as a required field by your local system administrator. Home Library will default to the location your workstation is registered at. If you are registering a non-Sitka BC OneCard patron, you must update the Home Library to the patron's actual Home Library. The list will show the library codes for all of Sitka, so make sure you choose the correct code. If you accidentally choose a code for a library that does not participate in BC OneCard, the patron will not be viewable at your library and you will need to contact Co-op Support to have the patron's home library corrected. Library codes for BC libraries can be found on our Library Barcode Prefixes webpage on bc.libraries.coop. If the name, phone number, email, or addresses you enter matches that of another patron registered at your library, an alert will appear. The alert text is a link that will take you to a patron search of the matching patron or patrons, so you can check whether or not it's the same patron. For more information on the fields in the patron registration form, see our video, Patron Account Fields. Once you have entered all of the necessary information, click Save or Save and Clone. Save will save the record and open a blank registration form. Save and Clone will save the record and open a new record with some shared details already filled in. It is important to know for your library whether Evergreen is linking the accounts through the address or merely creating a copy of the address. Local system administrators can control this option through the library settings. Once the account is saved, Co-op Support recommends going back to the checkout screen and scanning the patron's barcode to ensure the barcode retrieves the account as expected.
Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.